In this video, we want to see whether the following sequence converges or diverges. So we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence, and the way we're going to solve it is by multiplying by the conjugate of whatever's inside the parentheses. And so the conjugate is going to be the same thing, the same square roots, but instead of minus, it's going to be plus. And so now you basically have a situation of a minus b times a plus b. And so this is going to be a difference of two squares. So it's a squared minus b squared. And so basically the square roots are going to cancel and you're just left with whatever's inside the square root. Now it's important to put a parentheses around what's inside the square root because we're going to be distributing the minus sign. Okay, so we have n squared minus n squared those are going to cancel and then n minus n also cancels. So what's ever, the only thing that's inside the parentheses is just two. You're going to multiply that by n to get two n. Now we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of this. Uh, here we should divide or multiply by whatever the highest degree term is. So in the numerator, obviously n is the, the biggest one. The denominator, it's the square root of n squared, which is also n. So let's divide everything by 1 over n, or multiply by 1 over n. And so when 1 over n goes inside the square root, it's going to be 1 over n squared. So essentially, you're just going to take everything inside the square root divided by n squared. And then we're going to simplify this. So we have 1 plus 1 over n plus 2 over n squared basically split this up into three fractions and this splits this up into two fractions to get one plus one over n the one over n two over n squared all go to zero so you have two over the square root of one plus the square root of one well that's going to be one plus one which is two and so our limit is going to be one 